guys, it's Matt with BleepinJeep.com and today we're going to install these lights, these LED lights from the JCR Off-Road Rear Quarter Panels. So check out their website for their armor, JCROffRoad.com and check out my website, BleepinJeep.com for all the best off-road videos and we've got hats and t-shirts and stickers. So check it out. Do subscribe to our Facebook pages and subscribe to our YouTube channels too. Okay, let's get started on this thing. Alright guys, so the first step in doing this right is going to be to mark all of your wires. Every Cherokee is going to be a little bit different. So you want to make sure you mark these wires uh, before you pull them out. Now, I'm going to go over this with you real quick. This is the top right here. So this will be the top light and that is your run and your brake light or I call it run that would be like your your running light uh, or and your brake light and then you've got uh, this one here which is your running light and you also have one right next to it Ooh, it's hard to get out of there there it is both of those two right there are running lights and then you've got your um, what is that turn that's your turn signal right there and then you've got your reverse now make sure you put some tape on those and mark them because you're going to need that here in a little bit if you've already pulled all of these out and you don't know what they are then you can go and sit there and put it in reverse and hit your brakes and, and put your uh, running lights on and then go ahead and mark all these up alright so next you need to figure out how you want to wire this up JCR gives you a few options one of which is the stoplight and the turn light now that would work just like a standard vehicle and is the easiest to accomplish. But you also have the option of doing a stoplight and reverse in which case your red light will also work as the blinker. So figure out which one you want to do. We're going to start off with the turn signal first and if you are going to do that one then follow along now. If you're going to do the reverse light go ahead and skip forward a little bit and we'll cover that in just a minute. Alright, so everything you need comes in this kit from JCR. We've got the lights, we've got the pigtails, the bezels, and the screws, and these little waterproof connections here. You also probably need some heat shrink tubing, some butt connectors, and some wire crimps. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is figure out which one of these is the running light and which is the brake light. Now I know that uh, this is the running light and the brake light, uh, for one, because we marked it, but we also have three wires coming in here. So to figure out which one is your running light and which is your brake light, uh, what I've done is just turn the, the running lights on and I'm going to cut a wire. If that light goes out, we'll know that is the running light. And it did. So I'm going to take that and mark it as the running light and then we'll know that the other one is the brake light. Whoa that's really hot so don't let that sit there and burn your carpet like I just did okay so now that we've got that marked we can go ahead and start hooking everything up probably want to turn off the power first next thing I'll do is put these little waterproofers in here and connect the pigtails now to me I thought this was a little confusing you've got your ground which it says your ground is right there and that is your white wire and then you've got your tail light and then you've got your stop and turn. You've got three different connections here. But what's a little confusing is the tail light, which it's marked up at the top here, is actually the black wire. And the stop and turn actually comes across here to the red wire. So tail, stop and turn, and ground. All right, so then we're going to do the same thing for the red one. And then we've also got uh, this one here which is just a side marker. Alright, then I can just take these and cut these off because I don't really need those. And I will strip these out. Now, right now I'm not going to connect everything together with butt connectors. I'm just going to twist them together, make sure everything works first, and then I will do that later. Right now we're just going to test it and show you guys how everything hooks up. Okay, so I've got those stripped now. I'll just cut off some of these and strip these as well. 
Okay, so now it's pretty straightforward. Just you're just going to take the running light here, and over here it's called the tail light. So that means uh, which one is that? The tail light is going to be black. So we're going to attach the tail light and the running light together. Now I'm going to attach the white wire, which is ground over here, to the black wire, which is ground on the Jeep side. And then I will take the, t the stop and turn and attach that over here to the run and brake. Now keep in mind that both of these are, s are the same, the backs. The backs on the turn signal light and the tail light are both the same, so it just says stop and turn, stop and turn. So actually for us that just means um, stop. So we're going to attach that one to the brake light, the one that says stop. So don't let that confuse you. Alright, so the next thing I'll do is find the turn signal light, which is right here, and I will cut and strip those wires. Alright, so that turn signal light is going to go to our amber turn signal. The grounds I'll put together and the turn which on this the turn is red so I will attach that to the turn signal coming through and twist that together all right now on the turn signal you also have the option to make that a running light so to do that I'm just going to take one of these extra running lights and we'll snip that. The black one is the ground, so the other one will be the running light. Snip that. Strip it, and we'll attach that to the running light. So that should make that uh, yellow light be kind of a, a dim whenever it's just running. And then it'll, it'll light up whenever you turn the turn signal on. Okay, now we also have this side marker. Now I guess you could have the option of using that as a brake light or a running light or a turn signal. Uh, you might want to check your laws. I'm pretty sure that the uh, running light is going to be the most important. So to do that, I'm just going to use this other extra running light and snip it and wire it in as well. Alright, so now that will be a running light as well. If you wanted to make that a stop light or a turn signal light, you could just connect it into any one of these wires, whichever one you prefer. Alright, so now I'm going to flip these over and I'm going to go test it out. First I'll turn on the running lights and then I will check the flashers and the brake lights. Make sure none of these wires are touching each other though, that would be bad. Alright, so those are our running lights there. As you can see, we've got a dim red light and a dim orange light there, and this side marker. Now I'll go test the flasher. Alright, so as you can see, the flasher is now flashing, so that checks alright. I've got something to tell you about the relay for the flasher, but we'll go over that in just a minute. Now I'm going to go and check the brake light. All right, well, I couldn't hit the brake light and be back here at the same time, but it looked to me like I could see it flashing from up there, so I would say it's good. All right, so if you're using the amber light, you're pretty much done. All you need to do now is wire it up with some butt connectors, heat shrink tubing, or however you like to do it, maybe solder connections, and uh, then install them in the housing. But if you're going to be using the reverse light and the brake light, it's a little more complex, and we'll go over that now. Alright, so if you're going to be using the reverse light instead of the amber light, you'll need to wire up this stop light to act as your turn signal, your tail light, and your stop light. And to do that, you'll need one of these. You can get this on eBay or eTrailer.com. I'll leave the part number in the description below. But uh, you want to get this particular one. For some reason, I'm not sure why. I'm not an electrical engineer or anything. But uh, from what I've heard, this is the only one that will work. And uh, let me show you how to install this. Alright, I've got everything disconnected there. Now if you skipped forward to this part, um, 
you might still want to watch that first part because you might learn something but uh, I'm going to start fresh here just like we haven't done this before and we're going to start wiring uh, for the reverse and stop light. Alright so what this is is a trailer tow box and it allows you to connect your your lights up to your trailer um, but we don't need the little trailer adapter here so we can just try and figure out how much wiring you need here and we'll cut the rest off. I'd say that ought to give us plenty there and I will cut the rest and now I'm going to strip all these wires on both sides. Alright, so I've got all the wires stripped on this thing. Now this is for a trailer obviously, but we're not using a trailer of course, so the side that says to vehicle is going to go to your Jeep and the side that says to trailer is going to go to the lights. Also, I didn't mention this before, but you only need one of these boxes, but uh, if you just use one, you're going to have to route wires underneath the carpet or a across this plastic piece to the other side of the Jeep and then back. Um, so I found these for 16 bucks so I just went ahead and bought two. That way I can put one on the right side and one on the left side and not have to worry about running wires back and forth. Alright so now you're going to take this side that says two vehicle and start attaching that to your wires over here. First I'll do the right turn signal and because we marked these we know that uh, well, one of these is the turn signal. I, I can't even read my own writing here. Alright, I think that says turn there. Obviously the black was the ground and the other one is the turn signal, so we're going to attach those together. And now we've got the red wire, which is the stop. And we're going to find the um, brake light, which is over here. That's the run and the brake, and that is the run, so this must be the brake. I'm going to attach those together here. Alright, so the next is the left turn signal. We're not going to worry about that because I've got another box for the left turn signal, but if you need to, uh, run that across and attach that to your left turn signal uh, into the Jeep. Okay, next is the tail light, so that's going to be what I call the the uh, running light, so that'll be right here, run. I'll twist those together. And ground. Now on this, you could probably attach it to the black, or you could um, drill into the side over here, or I've actually got a good spot over there on the seat belt um, bracket that I can probably ground that too. But for right now I'm just going to attach that to the black wire. Alright, so the reverse light doesn't need to go through the box. It's just going to connect to your reverse from the Jeep. So I'm going to put that aside for right now. And right now we're worried about the stop tail and uh, whatever that's going to be for. So the right turn stop. So I'm going to look on the back here and the stop and turn is let's see this red wire so I'm gonna take those and twist them together okay now the white wire is the ground I'm gonna take that and attach it to the ground to the box here alright so next I've got the left turn and stop I'm not gonna connect that because like I said I've got the other box on the other side and this is the right turn signal anyway Okay, and the other one is the tail light. Um, so that's going to be the one I got left, I guess. Okay, let's test that. Not sure if I got this right. Let's test it just to find out. Alright, so the running light's working. Let's check the blinker. Alright, the blinker works. Now we need to check the brake. Alright, so the running light works, the brake light works, and the turn signals work, but I also want to make sure that the turn signals work while the brake is functioning, and the brakes work while the turn signal is functioning. So I'm going to check that.
Alright, so everything worked, everything checked out. Now you know what that box is for. That box is so that you can use this one light uh, as the brake light and the turn signal at the same time. And what it does is kind of reverse reverses something around in there so that, uh, it, well, you saw it. But the one thing that puzzled me was on the left side I had a problem with this box and I'm guessing it's because it's made in China and I had to um, I had to switch the stoplight and the left turn um, on the on the left side. I'm not sure why I had to do that, but if you have a problem and yours is not working, then I would um, on the on the tow vehicle side on the on the jeep side, I would cross your stop and your left turn wires or your stop and your right turn wires. Um, I'm not saying you are going to have to do that, but I did on the opposite side, and this side worked just fine as it is laid out in the diagram. Alright, so now that I've got the tail stop and turn light working there, I can go ahead and attach the others. Now this one is the side marker, and I'm not sure about the local laws, but I would assume that you would need to use that as your running lights. Um, if you really wanted to, you could probably use that as a turn signal or a brake light as well, but uh, depending on what you want to do with it, you're just going to wire that straight into the Jeep here. For me, I'm going to use that as a running light. So all you have to do is take one of your extra running lights that you have and attach that into there. There we go. Alright, and the reverse light, you've got three wires coming out of the pigtail, but you're only going to use two. And what you're going to do with that one is take your reverse light straight from the Jeep, cut that, and we'll wire the two working wires into there. Let's see which one it is for sure here. I'm going to connect the white to the ground here. And not that one. Okay, there it is. So on this uh, white light, if you're using that for the reverse light, it's going to be the white is the ground and the red is the power. So all that means is when you connect it to your Jeep, the white is going to go to your reverse light black. And then your red is going to go to what other color you've got there for your reverse light. Now that I've got everything laid out and working properly, all I need to do is disconnect these and attach the butt connectors and use heat shrink tubing uh, if that's what you're going to do. And I won't bore you with all that. I'm sure you can figure that out. So we will cut to the end of it here. Alright, now I want to show you this, guys. We're looking at the dash panel in my Jeep. And uh, at first your flashers are not going to work. Now, on the older model Jeeps, you can fix this by taking your flashers, your, uh, your hazard flashers, and swapping that with your blinker. Now all you're going to do is take this one out, take this one out, and swap them around. Now, one of those is your flashers and one is your hazard. I'm not really sure which. Uh, you can check it out by turning on your hazards. Let's see. Okay, that's the hazards. And now they're out. So, so that's your hazards up here. And this is your, your turn signals down here. Um, now, what we did when we switched those around, I'm not really sure exactly how that works. Again, I'm not an electrical engineer. But I think they used a flasher that um, tells you when your bulb is out by flashing rapidly. Um, since we're using LEDs, it thinks that one of your bulbs is out or something's going wrong because there's not enough current. So what you have to do is get one of these flashers that doesn't recognize that. So for this, you can swap them around. And then when you get a chance, you can get another one of these hazard flashers and put that uh, up here on your hazards because now your hazard is going to flash really quickly. Now on the later model Jeeps, I'm not sure how that works, but there is a part that you can purchase. I'm not sure if you can swap them around, but you can purchase the part from an auto shop and I will give you that number in the description below. Alright, once you get everything wired up, I've also uh, tied them up here just to make them a little cleaner. But once you get that done, go ahead and check it again just to make sure that all of your butt connectors are uh, installed properly and everything is making a good connection 
After that, we're going to go ahead and install them. So to do that, I will take off the lights and we will go ahead and stick it through. This box actually has a sticker on the back of it and you can stick that wherever you need it. Just make sure that it's uh, the wires are long enough to reach wherever you need them to. Okay, now the way this works is these lights clip inside these bezels, but we're going to need to trim just a little bit off the top of this bezel so that it'll fit right in that circle. For that, I'll just use my bench grinder and shave a little off the top where it says top. You only need about a quarter of an inch or so, and then I will do the same thing on the other one. On the other one, I'm going to shave the top off too, and then just turn it upside down. Alright, now I can take the bezel and put that back here and attach it with the screws provided. I think, however, before I do that, I'm going to take this one and install it just so it'll give me a little bit more room. Now this one down here you're going to have fun with. My best guess is that you'll have to use a magnet. Put the nut on the end of the magnet like this and feed it in there. The reason being this light over here is right in the way and you can't get back in there. But uh, that's what I had to do so give that a shot. And once you get that in there you can just kind of tighten it like this using your finger to hold it in. All right, then you can use an eight millimeter wrench to hold the backs while you tighten them all down. All right, now you can feed your wire up and around like this and we'll attach the light. Make sure that it's good and snug on there. Then we'll push it back in. Make sure it's orientated to the top and then we'll snap it in place. There we go. Check that out. Before I put that bottom one in, make sure you uh, put that on the side marker there. Come on. I know you can do it. Come on. Whew. That bottom one might need a little bit of persuasion since you can only really get one hand in there. You can't get a lot of good leverage. All right, now all we have to do is put the cover on. To do that, I'll just use two of the factory bolts and then two of the JCR bolts on top here. All right, guys, you gotta admit, that came out pretty sweet. Don't forget to check out JCR Offroad's website for this armor and more at jcroffroad.com. Check out bleepinjeep.com too. We've got hats and t-shirts and lots of other cool stuff. Do check out our Facebook pages too at the, uh, you know, Bleepin' Jeep and JCR also Facebook or whatever. And uh, do subscribe to both of our YouTube channels. And, and uh, did I say Facebook pages already? And, um, uh, I'm having a hard time talking right now. Leave your comments below. I hope you like the video. And we'll see you next time.